Chicago in my mama's bedroom. Charles is stripped down to his boxers. No t-shirt, no nothing, and his socks laying across my mama's bed. Oh, that's a good birthday. It's like you're my personal Illuminati. Okay guys, so today's video was, um, we put out a call if y'all wanted to hear Charles' story about the time that he got drunk. <laughs> and all I needed was one person to say they wanted it, and that one person said it, and I was like, yes, we are doing this. You might have also not even asked. We knew we were gonna be doing this. Yeah, but I wanted to see. If y'all didn't want to see it, we wouldn't have put it up. All right, so we're just gonna do this quick little story time. It's not gonna take up too much time about the time that Charles got so drunk that he ended up in my parents' bed with only his drawers on. True story. All right, do you remember how that day happened, babe? Uh, we were fairly fresh, right? Yes, we weren't even engaged. No, nah, we weren't even engaged yet, but we were, you know, dating. We were still mm, relatively fresh. I mean, within a few months. We went to go visit her parents um, in Kansas City. Uh, and so it was me and her dad there, and then her mom and her went to the store, right? Y'all went to the yeah, mall Yeah, we went to the mall like or something. We weren't there. And so me and her dad were just at the house chilling. And they had a front porch, and so me and her dad, her dad likes to like listen to music and stuff. So we were just on the porch listening to some music, just you know, chatting it up, stuff like that. And uh, so we just had some. I'm sorry, I can't that We had some drinks. I can't remember really drink. Probably Ciroc if it, if it was. It was probably some Ciroc or something. And so anyway, um, you know, we had some drinks, and you know, he was like, "Yeah, I got some Ciroc back there. You can go make you a glass." So I made me a glass, had me a drink. Nothing, you know. Well, the thing is. My dad, he he likes to, you know, he likes the spirits. He enjoys the spirits. Charles is not a drinker. And so I think you said something about you didn't like drink vodka like that or something. No, I don't drink vodka But like apparently that. my dad said when he was pouring his drinks, there was like this much vodka to like this much whatever he put in yeah, there. Yeah, whatever. So he didn't know how to even mix the dang drinks. And so, yeah, it was very much heavy on the alcohol. And because what we were mixing it with was kind of sweet, I didn't really taste I mean, the alcohol wasn't that strong in terms of like the taste of it. So I didn't really think about it. So I had one glass, cool, I'm fine. I polished it off relatively quickly too. And then I made another glass, probably about the same thing. And after the second glass, that's kind of when it started kind of kicking in, you know. All I know is when I got home from the grocery store with my mom, Charles was like, when Charles gets like, he starts to feel good with his drinks, he's like super talkative. I actually enjoy that part of Charles. I call that Tony. If Tony ever Tony comes too. out, which Tony comes out on our cruises, our resorts, all that stuff. And if we have like a little family function, which hopefully Tony comes out tonight because we are in Louisiana right now. But anyway, when Tony comes out, Tony True Love, it is the bomb.com. So he had turned into Tony, you know, he dancing around and Charles cannot dance. He dances like a, a dad, like. Mm. A legit I have dad. no I rhythm, man. I'm sorry. I wasn't blessed with the gift of rhythm. I just don't have it, and so that's why I generally only dance when I, I have liquid courage, uh, just because that's when I don't care. So I remember coming home, and my dad's like, "Yeah, Charles is feeling good. He's feeling real good." I'm like, "Well, what the heck did this boy done? What he do?" So he walks around with a little drink in his cup or whatever, and I'm like, "Okay, that's cool. We having a good time." Mind you, I hadn't been with him for that long, so I don't know, like if he's a drinker or if he can drink or if he can hold a liquor or what. All I remember is in like an instant, everything changed. It went from him like being cool, being good to he's sitting outside in the front yard, not on the porch anymore, in the front yard in a lawn chair. You, I don't think you were there this far, but um, cause I think I threw it before you got there, before you got back. I think my dad was trying not to like keep it, he was trying to keep it a secret or something. Yeah, so I was sitting there, you know, the I had stopped drinking by this point, but obviously the liquor started taking a hold of me. And so I was sitting there and my mom I'm like, man, I'm about to throw up. I can feel it. But I kept trying to like hold it down. And it, it just like, you know how you get that feeling when you're getting ready to throw You could tell when you're getting ready to throw it. all warm and yeah, watery. Yeah, you get all watery and stuff. And it started happening. And I was like, I'm about to just, I try, I try to hold it in. I try to hold it in. And next thing I was just like, Bruh. But where did, where did you throw up at? Were you outside? We was on the porch. Yeah, we were still on the front porch. I just threw up where I was at on the front porch. Okay. And was I there and at just, that point? No, you weren't there yet. Okay. It just came all out. It just came all out. I just kept coming out, threw up all over my clothes, all over the porch and everything. And so, as a matter of fact, your dad was looking at me before I threw, he was like, you all right, son? You all right? You like, you good? I was like, yeah, I'm good. You know, I tried to play it off. I was like, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. And I was back, in the meantime, I'm sitting here trying to hold it in and it just wasn't working, boy. So I get home and of course my dad didn't, I didn't they tried to keep it from me that he threw, threw up. I did find it later that he did though. <laughs> all I remember is coming home and Charles is sitting on the, in the front yard now. He was sitting there in his chair and all of his head was down and I remember looking at him like, 
I'm gonna let you have this pass because I remember I was in Florida, a mess, you know what I'm saying? I remember being, not knowing my limits and drinking stuff I ain't had no business drinking. So I'm gonna give him a pass, but I was like, uh-uh, this ain't even cute. Like, I'm breaking up with this dude. Like, I just remember thinking, I'm breaking up with him, this is not cool. Because I did it in the privacy of him and I. He did this at my mama house, in front of my mama. My mama don't even drink, honey. My, and, and my daddy, like, oh my God. So I get up so. there, he's sitting in the front porch, he's sitting in his chair. Out of nowhere, he's like going like this. He's just going like this, and I was like, "Oh, I'm breaking up with him, mom. I'm, I'm just gonna break up with him." And he's like, he started violently throwing up all over himself. Do you remember that? In the front yard, okay? Like. So the reason why I was in the front yard is because your dad stuck me in his chair in the front yard, and he took the water hose and he just started spraying me. Like he was spraying him down because you threw up on yourself. Yeah, and so he was spraying me down so I could get all the throw up off of me. He just sprayed me with water hose. Like. He's sitting, y'all, okay, now let me just give you a visual, okay? I grew up in the hood, okay? I did, but the, the block that we lived on, it was a bunch of old people that lived on that, that in the neighborhood. So we lived in the hood, but I lived on the old people road. You know what I'm saying? So there was really not a lot of going on. But you know how it is in the hood. You know, people got, they sit on their porches all day. You got people outside throwing picnics in the front yard. That's, that's where I, that's where I grew up at. So this is, this was normal to see people sitting in the front yard like that, okay? He's sitting there throwing up all over himself violently. And he looking like disgusting. Like he's, he's like, you know, it looked bad. Throwing up everywhere violently. And he's laughing through the throw up. I was laughing because your dad was spraying me with water. He was somehow, laughing through the throw behind, up. Behind all of that stuff, I just thought it was funny as heck that your dad was spraying me with a water hose. Like, I was drunk, but I remember, like, how, like, stuff going on. I just remember thinking it was funny that he was in there spraying me with a water hose. I just was like, this is not... I, I was laughing, though, and my mom was. Because at this point, it's funny. Because he's sitting in his chair in his front yard. My neighbors are looking. He's violently throwing up. And he's laughing through it. And then my dad is just, like, spraying him down with the water hose. And I'm just like, oh, my God. So when he finally got done, my dad was like, man, go lay down. You know, go lay down. I'm thinking he's going to, like, go lay down on the couch. We're trying to get everything cleaned up outside. I'm thinking he's going to be downstairs. Something, right? He goes in the house to take care of himself. We go in the house okay couldn't find charles i'm like where, where does little go i go in my mama's bedroom charles is stripped down to his boxers to no t-shirt no nothing in his socks laying across my mama's bed basically your dad told me your dad, made, your, your dad took me back there did he yeah well at the end of the day charles got so drunk that not only did he have to get hosed down like an animal but he ended up falling asleep in my mom, my mother's bedroom with just boxers and on. And I, I was so drunk at that point, I didn't even care. I was just like, I'll deal with this all later on. Like, Were you embarrassed care. at all? At the time, no, because I didn't care. I was so drunk. I was just like, I just want this stuff. To but I know you don't care now, because now it's just funny. Now it's just funny. So I guess, you know, I mean, I, if I had to go over again, I wouldn't do that again. <laughs> but, you know, at the time, I was just like, I just want to... I just don't feel good. He's like, I'm never drinking again. I'm never drinking this vodka. That's not my thing. And I don't think Charles picked up another clear liquor since that day. I probably have not. I'm straight. No. I, I'm like whiskey, bourbon. Yeah. yeah I, I don't drink vodka. No. Nah. None of that. None of that, y'all. So I think that's going to wrap up this story time. Hopefully. It wasn't long. It was a lot to happen in a small amount of time. But um, comment down your favorite part of that or favorite part of that story. Um, if you're not already subscribed to our channel, do so now. If you are subscribed and you not have, have not clicked that notification bell, do so so that you're notified every time we upload a video. In the meantime, in between time, till the next time. Bye! Peace.